Hello home builders. This is day 59 and this is called Take the Grace Offer. I hope that um, everyone can hear this okay. I'm kind of holding the phone myself to try to get as much audio as I can. As you can see, we have some, some pouring water in the background and we also just underneath me have some, some water as well. We are in Universal Studios Islands of Adventure and behind me, I'm standing in the area called the Lost Continent. And behind me, this big red mountain with this dude carved in it with water pouring out of his mouth. That's actually the restaurant called Mythos that we just ate at. And it was very delicious. I will say so uh, myself. Um, but anyway, today is called Take the Grace Offer. The passage is from Hebrews 12, 14 through 16. Um, it's, it's instruction generally on uh, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Um, looking diligently lest any man fail the, of the grace of God. Lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled. And, and, and it goes on. And essentially the instruction here is um, you know, it's, it reminds us of how much we do need God's grace. And I think that we all at some point, obviously, we understand the need for God's grace if we're saved. But generally, we need to remember that in, in all different contexts, not just even the context of our salvation itself. Um, God has an abundant, immeasurable amount of grace for us. And we need to remember that. Um, and one thing that I've been finding in recent times is that it's really important for us to have a full understanding of that because we have to have the ability to help other people understand that. The people that we are ministering are hurting. The people that we are ministering to are saddled with guilt and shame uh, because we're all sinners. Now, what a better way to help minister to those folks than to point them to the Word of God, the promises that are contained within it, and promises specifically about the grace of God that He has for us. Now, people feel guilt no matter whether, whether they're saved or unsaved. Um, there will always be guilt. You know, we, people have a sense of right or wrong, usually. The question is, do we have the ability to take that and turn that into a conversation where we can point them to Christ? I think it's a really easy segue to get to the gospel. Uh, people need to understand that because of the fact that they cannot earn their salvation, their salvation is there because of grace. And boy, is there a ton of grace there available to them. Um, but then we also need to remember this ourselves. Um, we cannot be an effective minister to others. We cannot be an effective of Christian if we do not fully understand that God has even forgiven our sins, even after we're saved. Um, one of my favorite verses when teaching this, um, when people are thinking, well, I'm, I'm not good enough, God can't use me, um, maybe even God can't save me, is uh, in Psalms when David says that God has taken his sin and he has cast them as far as the east is from the west. What a beautiful illustration of the grace that is offered to us. We need to understand that as we work in our Christian life, that we cannot be effective until we accept the grace, the full amount of grace that God has offered to us. What an awesome reminder for us. Because once we remember that, we can be revived and we can live out the potential that we have for the Lord. Have a great day, everybody. Um, hope you're in, enjoying these uh, unique backdrops. We've got a couple of uh, lessons from last week to catch up on. I'm going to find some interesting places for you to look at as we go through those as well. Have a good one.